Mr McMuffin back out on the coast again, back to the quaint village of Boscastle, just for one more little patch that I've got to do to fill in the gaps. And then that's it then, I really would have completed a run from sort of almost Welcome Bay, Cornicky Cliffs, to um, Port Isaac. So 30, 40 miles of the coast path done. How's that? Got a few hours to kill, so we're going to walk from Boss Castle to Bossamy Cove and uh, back again. We've just had the Beast of the East Mark II, so everywhere is covered in snow still. Makes for some really uh, impressive views. If you remember from last time, we came up over these cliffs here and then up there and I showed you the blowhole. Do you remember? Look at these icicles. absolutely stunning here. The weather's nice again. Just looking back over this, every angle you look at this from, it looks different, it looks amazing. Here we are now, Willow Park Lookout Station. Originally built as a summer house in the early 1800s by local landowner Thomas Rickard Avery. Later leased to the Board of Trade as a lookout to help prevent smuggling and then used as a Coast Guard station up until the 1970s. Let's have a look at the views. Quite a lot of snow. This makes this walk slightly different to usual. It's a bit of an effort. It's a really beautiful part of the coast. The rocks that get left, the erosion, these big clumps of rock out there. It's a real uh, spectacle, it's real great to look at. And then these valleys that you keep coming down in the coasts, where the little brooks and rivers run through. And then today with all this snow around, it's a fantastic day to be out. It's uh, still pretty wet underfoot. There's well, bound to be, isn't it? All the snow melting. Peregrine falcon up in the sky. You see them quite a bit along this coastline. Beautiful birds. They manage to just stay completely still in the air, hunting for prey. They do stay still. That wasn't the bird moving. That was my camera zoomed right in. <laughs> Slippery. Mikey. It's a uh, leaf all along here, I keep slipping. It's not the snow, it's not the ice, it's the mud. Absolutely treacherous. I don't 
know if you can see it down there below Trafalgar Cliff. There's like a, uh, a turquoise lagoon down there, like a little covey bit. Yeah, and the water looks absolutely stunning. Can't really get a good view of it. I don't really want to venture to the edge of the cliff if it's slippery like this. Well, it's just a short walk today and uh, over there is Bosony Haven and Benoeth Cove. That's where I started my walk when I went from Bosony to Tintagel. So we're getting to the end of the walk and I've got to walk back again. This area here is absolutely mind blowing. A real a jaggedy rocky valley. The little bridge I've been that and there, up there, in around these stones here. Possibly Cove down there. I've done all that. The dots have been joined. So there we go. I've decided I'm gonna go back out on the road and follow the road back to Boss Castle. It won't be so quite so treacherous. Because this is this has been hard work this last uh, sort of hour and a half walking in this. So that's it, just a short walk today, short video. Thank you all for joining me. If you haven't already, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about us. All the best, goodbye.